Hello everyone, nice to see you in this awesome call. Uh, I talk about to create a useful people search with PNP Modern Search Web Parts. As first, a little words about me, and then I give you an introduction to the available Microsoft Search technologies in M365, and then fast we jump into the demo from zero to find your peoples. About me, I'm David Meir, I'm from IOZ AG. We based in Switzerland, in the German part. I'm an App Center Service MVP. My topics are SharePoint teams, SharePoint related technology, and for sure, search. Feel free to contact me uh, after this session when you have any questions. So this slide um, is not from me. This is from Kanval, kudos, uh, kudos to Kanval. Uh, it's a really good summary about available search technologies. We have on the left side, the Microsoft Search, the Microsoft Search uh, based on Microsoft Graph, and it's available in all the apps on the top in the search box uh, that you can use. And on the left side, we have the SharePoint Search technologies. It's only available, uh, available in SharePoint. And so we can uh, fully customization this solution. So in this case, we will focus on the SharePoint search. As first, an overview of search in SharePoint. So we have a crawl, uh, the crawler. You use all the lists, libraries, sites, and more like site columns um, in, in the index. So um, when you create list columns, there are only crawled properties. And when you create site columns, the search index part two here in this graphic will automatically be a managed property. Also available are the result sources that you can configure in your search admin center um, in M365. So uh, on the third part, the user come in in a search page that the query will send to the search index and we have a search result page or web part. They will show all the relevant results that we will show up for the user. That's a little overview about the SharePoint search technology. So in this case, I use the PNP Modern Search web parts. With this solution on GitHub, the newest and hottest uh, are 4.8. 4 it's a really new release. So we have four web parts available, the search box, the filters, results, and verticals. In the search um, results web parts are both data sources available, SharePoint Search and Microsoft Search. You can install this app in the SharePoint App Store. And when you like to use Microsoft Search, you need to approve the API access in the SharePoint Admin Center. So let's jump into the demo. I call them from zero to find. So we start um, from zero, from a blank SharePoint page, you can create a new page, um, give a name, and people search, people search, and give an give an icon. It's um, it looks better with um, with an icon. Uh, so search from stock images. So. We don't use the text web part, but we want to use the search box web part. And we use also the filters and the results. The results will show up the people's, the available people's later. So um, as first, we will configure the SharePoint search box. So it's only text find people it's better understanding for people for your um, users no more configuration needed here in this web part as next we will choose our search result web part um, we use the sharepoint search data source and in this data source it's the uh, local people results available from sharepoint so you can choose that we have here zero results, but it's OK at this moment. So as next, we will uh, configure the available connections. We, we will use a dynamic value 
So the user come in, um, search anything, and we will use the search query in our result web part. So, and that we show anything we can here put in the wildcard. So you can see when I publish the page, I have um, the search box web part, the result um, web part, it looks not, not so good, but uh, we come back to that. So we can search here for a person and pick the sky um, will show up here in the results web part. The users from here comes from the SharePoint um, user profile service. So the SharePoint user profile service have a classic um, GUI and here you can search for a person and when you edit the profile you can see here all the available informations and you you can see here with the icon these informations come from the Azure AD and in the Azure AD I have also the Peter Sky with all the available properties they will synchronize to our um, user profile service and in our search page we will use this um, local result from peoples. So as next, we will configure our results web part. Um, I go back to them and edit. You can see here um, a lot of more informations and settings available. So a good thing I think is the sort. Every, every user can sort to a last name. It's a default source, but the user can do uh, another uh, direction, can use another direction in this filter web part. So, and as next, we go here, one more page um, wider, and here are the available layouts, and you can see a people layout, it's available, and when I activate the people, um, layout, you can see we have a nice layout with uh, the key informations like image, name, or other informations. So we can choose that. As other um, interesting information, um, you can see here the show persona card uh, on Hoover. So when I hover over my peoples here, nothing is to do. So when I do that uh, on on, when I activate this option and, and hover again, you can see I, um, you can see more informations. These informations uh, come from Microsoft Graph, and this is the point. Um, here you have an information bubble. When you want to use that, you need to give access, the API access to Microsoft Search, also in your SharePoint Administration Center, and you have here on, in advanced an API access, and you can see here I have no pending requests. I have all, um, all of them approved, and so that's the reason why we see why we see then the Hoover on the people card. So I will publish republish them again. So before we start with filtering um, only for re relevant peoples, um, I will show you another interesting tool that's the SharePoint search query tool. With the SharePoint search query tool you can find out all the available managed properties that you can use in your search query and you can test here the query um, for a better visualization after that in your search results web part. After a sign in uh, in this tool you can also choose the uh, local people results. This is the same result source that we use in our result web part and with a query text and um, a wildcard, wildcard query search we can see here we have nine results and when I go to the primary results I can see here all the peoples from the user profile service. So um, here are the properties and you can see here are the work email. This is the email address from only internal uh, peoples. You can see here I have uh, also external peoples in there. They have another working email. So when we change here 
work um, email our query to contains uh, the MIR 365 and run again, you can see also only the available internal pers persons are um, will show up here in the primary results. That's also the query that we will use in our search. We, we want only show up the internal perso persons, uh, not the external um, in our internal people search. So, and with this query, you can see I have here also only two peoples that we see in this um, in this little people search. So, as next, we will configure our our filters. For that, you can um, as first you you will configure the available connection um, in the results web part. Here are um, under available connection on page three. Uh, connect to the filters web part, um, it's available, and do the same on the filters web part. So here you can choose our uh, search results web part. So it's we have a connection between filters and results, and only filters available when you have results. So, and on there, you can insert a lot of uh, display name. The template is a mandatory field, we will expand these um, properties. And so in this step, I configure also um, another one. Type in and press enter. That's the location. We will use also um, a template and expand. When you add and save, so you can see these booth properties um, are available as filters. So it's also possible to use more properties, but not every property are also a managed property. So I will insert here my refinable, refinable string 107 and display that these are the projects. So it's a checkbox, we will expand, we have a multi-values, we will um, the operate, we will use the operator R, add and save. And now you can see here are also the projects. The project projects are typed in in the, the user profile or in the Delf profile. So it's a little bit tricky with the with the projects. Why? Um, we can see this one here in the search uh, configuration um, center. It's also a classic overview, but when I go to the manage search schema, you can see when we when I search for past projects, the past projects are a default property, managed property, and you can see here um, it's not refinable. So, but it's mapped to the default uh, crawled property from the uh, user profile service, but I call it, it's not refinable. So this property, it's not available in our filters. So that's the reason I map this to an existing um, refinable string property. And after that, you can see the refinable string property have all the properties activated, the settings, and we can refine um, the refinable string. And in the refinable string are the past projects. So that's the reason that works in our filters. So, and now we have a little useful people search for, uh, for your users. So that's all from zero to find people.